Hey guys, um, so <laughs> taking a little break on the rat rat, the rat trike and uh, the other projects that we got going. Um, I think we're gonna take a swerve and do a drift trike. We're gonna use this Kawasaki motor that my boss has given me off of an old compressor. The old compressor, it's an old Sidewinder compressor. I'm trying to get this sucker off today, right now. So we didn't have the right tool so or the right socket so now we gotta run home huh. oh well after i ran home and grabbed vice grips actually pull start off and uh we got the motor out uh gonna take it home and see if we can get it to start so i brought the kawasaki engine back home a uh, little flathead there there it is uh, just taking off the head gonna take off the carburetor clean it up so we do have a spark we do have compression. The oil's a little dirty. There's no gas in it at all. None. Zero, it's dry. in the gas tank so hopefully we can try to get it penetrated and uh, we'll continue to clean it up so for about a week now I've been working on the Kawasaki to get it running well we run into a problem with the carburetor the gas tank it was uh, really rusted out um, <clears throat> couldn't figure out how to um, retrofit anything with the gas tank so we just went with the Makuni uh, 24 so right now all I'm doing is uh, grinding down all of the edges so I can make a smooth connection for the new carburetor. I just took the old carburetor where it connects to, to the engine, just cut it flush off right before all of the air chambers. Now I'm just taking all the grooves off, making it flush. <laughs> We have everything to put the Makuni on to the Kawasaki. So let's get that done. I thought I was prepared, but uh, during this video, I uh, had to stop a few times in YouTube on uh, how to install the carburetor. Uh, I was pretty sure I knew how to, but um, my cable linkage ends weren't really matching up to what I had expected. So. <laughs> So I added a little bit of fuel to the carburetor. Still don't have a gas tank, so we're gonna have to work with that. And fire's over, so I'll try to give it one more pull and see if uh, it starts for you guys. Let's 
here. I think I got a got a temporary gas tank set up. Ah, we'll see. This is kind of the setup we got going on for the Kawasaki and the Makuni. We have some simple connection here. And this comes to, we went with the Powerade bottle, but a Gatorade bottle will do just the same. Your fuel filter in there. And uh, epoxy it. Should temporarily work. It's not gonna hold for like, obviously not some storage purposes or anything. This is just to get the motor going. So we got some view line for the Kawasaki motor, that is. Um, we still don't have an exhaust for it. Uh, we did make a temporary gas tank for it, so we're gonna see if that holds some gas here. And uh, we'll try to get it started, started for you. You pull the throttle cable, it gives a big loud pop. There you go. Runs really good, dude. So I did some welding on an exhaust pipe for it. You can throw a little bit of extra money into some of the metal for the frame. <clears throat> some wheels, a live axle. Uh, I'm thinking about going with Go Power Sports or... Uh... Oh yeah, no. Thinking about going with Go Power Sports. Uh, they seem to have pretty good, really good good uh, product. I'll give you one last look at this. We'll start it one more time with the exhaust on and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, uh, subscribe. Uh, let me know what you guys think I should do. Uh, I know some of the videos are a little bit, a um, little bit dry. Just me working on some bikes and taking stuff apart. But honestly, you got to start somewhere, and I'm learning a lot. So, thanks, guys. think what's gonna have to happen is uh, that straight bar exhaust is not going to work uh, we're gonna have to put an angle in it so that it shoots off away from the carburetor it's uh, gets really hot really quick <laughs> uh, last night we were we started it without the exhaust on there and there was about two inch flames coming out of the port so uh, I'll do a little welding off off screen and then uh, we'll come back to you guys when I have some of the metal